Students, in the previous video, you have learned exercise 3.6, first problem and second problem. Now, third problem. Factorize the following p minus q whole square minus 6 into p minus q minus 16. Second problem, m square plus 2 into m n minus 24 n square. Third problem, root 5 a square plus 2 a minus 3 into root 5. Fourth problem, a power 4 minus 3 a square plus 2. Fifth problem, 8 m cube minus 2 m square n minus 15 m n square. Sixth question, 1 by x square plus 1 by y square plus 2 by x y. For this first problem, first you write the given question, p minus q whole square minus 6 into p minus q minus 16. It is in the quadratic form. For the given problem, rewritten as p minus q equal to x. So, this is p minus q equal to x. So, it is x square minus 6x minus 16. Now, you have to check it is in the quadratic equation general form. So, now the product value is minus 16. Adding value is minus 6. So, the product value 8 to 16. For adding value, for it minus 16 is need. So, minus 8. So, here we need minus 6. So, greater number you use a minus symbol. So, minus 6. So, 8 to 16. 16 minus into plus minus minus 8 plus 2 minus 6. So the factors are x minus 8 into x plus 2. For x what we are assumed in the beginning? P minus q. So P minus q minus 8 into P minus q plus 2. Second problem m square plus 2 m n minus 24 n square. It is in the quadratic form with two variable. For with two variable, you don't worry about it. You have to consider the last term coefficient that is minus 24. It is the product value. It is the adding value. For um, which two numbers you get minus 20, 24? 6 4 are 24. For here 2 is need. So greater number plus smaller number minus. So now you have to check 6 4 are 24 plus into minus minus. 6 minus 4 2. So both multiplication and addition satisfied so the given one is rewritten as m square plus this 2 mn is written as 6 mn minus 4 mn 6 mn minus 4 mn minus 24 n square for this 2 mn using that i factor you have to separate like this form now you have to compare these two m is common you have to take outside which is remaining here m for m is taken outside which is remaining 6n. So m into m plus 6n. Minus for it is minus 4mn minus 24n square. Minus 4n take outside. So which is remaining m is here. m is here. For minus is taken outside. So which is remaining plus. For 6 4 is 24. 4 is taken outside which is remaining 6. n, n into n is the 1n taken outside. Another 1n is inside. So 6n m plus 6n taken outside so which is remaining m minus 4n so therefore m square plus 2 m n minus 24 n square equal to m plus 6n into m minus 4n next third problem root 5 a square plus 2 a minus 3 into root 5 for if the coefficient is there so you have to multiply with the last term so 3 into minus 3 into root 5 into root 5. For root 5 into root 5, 5. Minus 3 into 5. So that is minus 15. Product value minus 15. Adding value 2. 5 3 is 15. So here we need plus values so a greater number plus. So it is 5 3 is 15. Plus into minus minus. 5 minus 3, 2. So now this 2a is rewritten as 5a plus 5a minus 3a. This 2a is written as these two form. So now you have to make these two, uh, two terms as a group. So root 5a taken outside. So that is a is remaining. For 5 means for what is the meaning of 5? Root 5 into root 5. So a plus root 5 minus 3 you have to take an outside. That is a plus root 5. So, a plus root 5 is common. So, into root 5a minus 3. So, therefore, root 5a square plus 2a minus 3 root 5 equal to a plus root 5 into root 5a minus 3. Fourth question, a power 4 minus 3a square plus 2. For this, a power 4 is written as a square whole square minus 3a square plus 2. For this, a power 4 rewritten as this form. 
remaining terms just take and write. Now it is in the quadratic form. It is a square whole square minus 3 a square plus 2. So the product value is 2, adding value is minus 3. So 1 into 2, minus 1 into minus 2. So that is 2 minus 1 plus minus 2, minus 3. So for it is a square whole square, minus 3 a square is written as minus a square minus 2 a square plus 2. This minus 3 a square is rewritten as this form. Now you have to compare first to two terms. a square is common, you have to take outside. So here a square is remaining here 1. For minus 2, you have to take outside which is remaining a square minus 1. For minus 2 is taken outside, so here minus 1. So a square minus 1 take outside. For here a square is there, here minus 2 is there. It is in the form a square minus 1 square. a square minus 1 square. So a plus b into a minus b. a plus 1 into a minus 1 into a square minus 1. It is in the form a square, a square minus b square equal to a plus b into a minus b. So, it is 1. In b plus we have 1. So, a plus 1 into a minus 1. Next, sixth, fifth term, 8m cube minus 2m square n minus 15m n square. For m, you have to check this given three terms, m is there, m cube, m square, m. So, m is common, you have to take outside which is remaining 8m square. Cube is there, 1 is taken outside with remaining 2. Here 2 m into m is there, 1m is taken outside, so remaining 1m, 2 into m n. Here m is taken, so minus 15 n square. Now it is in the form quadratic, so you have to make multiple these two. 8 into minus 15, 15 8 is 120, minus 120, adding value is minus 2, so that is 12 tens are 120, here we need minus, so greater number minus, so this minus 2mn rewritten as 8m square minus 12mn plus 10mn minus 15n square, you have to make these two as group, so 4m is common, so it is 4 into 2, it is m into m, 4m taken outside which is remaining 2m minus 3n. It is 3 into 4. So 3n. Plus for comparing these two 5n is common. So which is it is written as 5 into 2. It is 5 into 3. So 5n is taken outside. So 2m minus 3n. 2m minus 3n is common taken outside. For m already is that m into 2m minus 3n into 4m plus 5n. So this is the form, factorized form. Sixth problem, 1 by x square plus 1 by y square plus 2 by xy. So, it is written as 1 by x whole square, 1 by y whole square plus 2 into 1 by x into 1 by y. The given question is rewritten as this form. It is in the form a plus b whole square. So, a plus b whole square, what is the formula? a square plus b square plus 2ab. So, that is a place we have a 1 by x, b place we have 1 by y. So, 1 by x plus 1 by y whole square. It is the factorized form.